Hello traders, welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. And if you're curious about more of our videos and webinars, check out FXDD YouTube channel. Also, if you like my analysis and uh, you're curious about the indicators and the strategies behind uh, you know, my systems, check out ECS SWAT, this link right here. And there's a lot of things, new strategies, new course, and new ebook coming up with all uh, information included. All right, so first of all, the euro dollar and the pound dollar moving exactly as uh, as we were analyzing. Uh, five waves down here with the euro dollar uh, meant that an ABC correction was likely. So when price moved up like this and then made a bull flag, a continuation wave C towards the 144 EMA in the previous top at 110.20 uh, uh, was likely according to the system or strategy rules with the moving averages. Bounce at the 144 EMA. And then the break below the 20 may signaling the continuation after the uh, bullish ABC and the break below this trend line as well, by the way. So I personally traded this uh, this breakout here with ECS Live. So if you're curious about that, Nanette and I are sharing our setups with ECS Live so you can check that out. And uh, indeed, nice breakout and uh, price, uh, I had a target a little bit lower. So I'm hoping for price still to make one more dash. Uh, and one more lower low uh, towards the previous bottoms, double bottom. Uh, but you can see how waves help and the moving averages too. Uh, price moving nicely along uh, the 21 EMA here with the wave four and the wave two. Uh, and then here, one, three, five, then an ABC, first A to the 21 EMA, then the wave C toward the 144 EMA, and then a rebreak away from the 21 EMA. All of that is taught in the SWAT course, if you're curious. Now we had a uh, wave two. This is probably a wave four as price is stopping at the 20 mini May. Very good chance. So I think that one more lower low uh, is possible. Let's see. Uh, we also had uh, clear support, of course, around 109.90. So the break here uh, and then the, yeah, likely to continue lower towards the previous bottom. And that's what happened when price pulled back into the 20 mini May. Now I think that uh, there could be maybe one more dash down. If it doesn't happen today or tomorrow, then um, not too sure, it depends on the weekly candle, which we'll of course know uh, later on. So far, this is still very bearish, So, but that's still two days to go. Uh, daily candle, very strong. So I think that the bears are in control, and uh, even if we might see some retracement higher, uh, I still think that that is going to run into resistance zone at 109.75, for instance, and then move down to 109.25. 109.25, of course, key level because of the double bottom. And uh, that's the main target for the moment. But if price breaks through that, either this week or next week, <clears throat> then uh, a continuation lower towards 10850, 108, 10750, those particular targets could be envisioned. And the downtrend channel here that we talked about already, uh, fully in play and fully uh, continuing lower after this bullish ABC we discussed as well. It was a little bit of a choppy reversal here. But ultimately, uh, if it does push through this double bottom, then this ABC was it, and downtrend it is after that. So for the moment, looking, uh, hang on, let me correct this trend line a little bit there, looking like a downtrend continuation if it could break through that double bottom. If it doesn't, then it depends a little bit on how price reacts to that double bottom. If it makes some kind of sideways move, then more downside, or if it's a close in reverse, then maybe a bigger correction up. Pound dollar was also very, very nicely played. Uh, by Nenet and myself, we were basically long here and here with the target at here. Uh, then uh, we were long here with the target at here. Then we were uh, bearish from here down to here. Then we were bullish from here up to here. And uh, then we were bearish from here down to here. So it's almost uh, 100, yeah, it's really 100% score here from uh, from the pound dollar playing ping pong with this one. <laughs> and uh, but anyhow, uh, jokes aside, uh, I think that uh, uh, the analysis is indeed correct. I think that the five waves up, uh, rising wedge here uh, indicated a, t a wave A correction, then the head and shoulders pattern played out indeed, so the wave B finished there. And indeed we had a wave C to the downside. So now the question is, is wave C finished? And I don't think so as yet. Because it looks like a wave one, two, three. This looks like a very impulsive wave three. I think this could be wave four uh, for the moment. And I think that if I put a fib from here to here, uh, that uh, like this, this is a 38.2 fib bounce. So it, it you know, it, it 38 point, 38.2 fib level. Here we had a bounce at 23.6, this is 38. 
So there could be some reaction. Maybe price could go up to the 38, the counter fib. If we put the uh, fib from actually, uh, I should put it from here to here. Small difference, but still. So yes, it could be a bouncing spot, but I do think that price could bounce again at 124, 124, 25, if this is indeed a wave four, max 124, 40, I would say. And I head lower, head towards the 120 to 50 area, 120 to 75 area, which is the 50 fib and the minus 61.8 target. And that could be again a bouncing spot for upside. Uh, then in that case, ABC has been completed like this. And uh, either it's uptrend again, or the ABC has completed a more complex W up for X and down for Y if it's a more complex kind of correction. Also possible, for instance. But in any case, 122.50 could be a bouncing spot. It depends how it bounces. Is there an ABC up or uh, is it sideways? I'm leaning towards uh, down either immediately or after a pullback. And then up, and then we'll have to see uh, how this uh, up goes. Uh, generally speaking, still leaning towards more downside after that. Maybe after an ABC up like that, and then downside. All right. So from my perspective, bearish candlestick patterns up, up in here would be interesting uh, for a bounce and, and a continuation uh, trade to the downside. Of course, if it breaks through this bottom as well, there could be an immediate continuation down to that 122.75, 122.50 zone. All right, that's it for now. If you're curious about the SWOT indicator strategy and the ebook that's coming up, uh, then join now and uh, you'll get all that updates very, very soon. Uh, if you're curious about the trade setups that Nenat and I uh, take, uh, then uh, we do share that through ECS live channel. So here's how you can become a member through this link. And otherwise, wish you great trading and talk to you soon. Cheers.